what I've got here is a Galaxy S8 ROM. Running on my Galaxy S7, I've got pretty much all of the features, all the software features. As you can see, they're literally identical. All right, I've got also the Edge screen working. Of course, if you have an S7 Edge, it will work a lot better. My S7 Edge, uh, I actually accidentally left it at Flossie Carter's house while we were kicking it. So that's why I installed it on my S7. Let me go ahead and first talk about battery life. Battery life has been excelente on the S8 ROM for the S7. Of course, the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge have the longest battery life last year. So with even AOD on, I was getting very, very good battery life. So if you install this S8 ROM on your S7 or S7 Edge, your battery will not be affected. And it may actually get better because you have the S8 software, which is more optimized. You got exactly the same software features. Of course, the only thing that's not working is the actual home button uh, in AOD, where I can actually press it in my S8 Plus and use my Iris Unlock. This one simply does not work. That's the only thing that's not working, but in the future, it should work but your fingerprint sensor works just fine. Now, as far as camera shortcut, you're gonna have to do double tap power button, all right? You can no longer use uh, double tap home button. Right, you may be able to use a third party app to remap it. So maybe somebody can look into it and do let me know if that works. Other than that, you get the S8 camera, just like an S8 or S8 Plus. In fact, you actually get more modes. You get a ton more modes, all right? Look at that. That's pretty cool. So you'll be able to enjoy the full S8 camera software on your S7 Edge. Now performance is like excelente. This is even better than running on my Note 5. And so for those of you who wanna save money, you don't have money for an S8 or S8 Plus, I would totally get this international version which works on T-Mobile and AT&T or any GSM network, flash the S8 ROM and boom, you pretty much have all the features of the S8, S8 Plus, except for the longer screen, but otherwise it's nearly identical. Right, let me go ahead and show you in settings and you'll see about phone here. They're actually both Galaxy S8 Plus. Uh, pretty awesome stuff. You can also customize this ROM, a few customization, let me go ahead and show you. All right, there's an app called Kong Loy ROM. Uh, where you can, where I enable the navigation bar here. All right, so you can enable that, disable it. There are a couple customization options that you can mess with. And yeah, this is a great way to get the S8, S8 Plus features right there on your S7 or S7 Edge. All right, installation is very, very easy. Let me go ahead and walk you through. All right, you could install this on any international model, Exynos version of Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge running SMG 930F or 935F. It should also work actually on Korean models or any other Exynos International variants. Unfortunately, US models have lock bootloader, which means you can install twerp and you can install this ROM. All right, before you install the ROM, of course, you'll have to have twerp recovery installed. If you don't have twerp recovery installed, go ahead and follow my latest root guide on how to root your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge on Nougat, all right? Make sure your firmware is also updated to latest Nougat and simply you're gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery I'm gonna simply power off. Of course, you should have downloaded the actual ROM and kernel. There's two files you have to download and make sure you download that onto your phone. All right, and then you're gonna hold down volume up, center home and power. All right, after powering off your phone and you should be in twerp. All right, let go of all the buttons. Once you're in twerp, do a standard wipe, wipe to factory reset, go to home. All right, and go into install and go ahead and install the Kong Loy uh, ROM zip file, which is this one. Also, if you want Magisk root, which works also flawless, I'll show you here. So you can run apps, uh, rooted apps like Snapchat, uh, Pokemon Go, Android Pay also works. Make sure you download Magisk version 12 also. So go ahead and install the ROM, all right? And let me guide you through some of these options. All right, this ROM is for both S7 and S7 Edge. For those of you who don't know, S7 ROMs are fully compatible with S7 Edge and vice versa. Go to next, agree, next, next. All right, do a full wipe. All right, I'm not gonna actually install it. I'm just showing you um, the installation instructions. Hit next. Choose your CSC. If you don't see it, you can go ahead and choose Vietnam. 
All right, you obviously, if you want the S8 game tool, the new one, go ahead and choose that, hit next. If you want the S8 camera, make sure you choose that, next, and install now. All right, once you install, do not install, uh, do not reboot, all right? And you're gonna go ahead and install the kernel. Go back to home, install. Go ahead and install the super kernel blob modded conloy.zip. You have to install the kernel, all right? Because the ROM itself does not come with the kernel and you do need the kernel. Swipe, and that's pretty much it. Hit home, go install. If you want Majisk, install this, swipe. All right, when that's done, reboot system and do not install. And that's it, guys. All right, once rebooted, your phone should start from start and you'll have to re-lock in. Uh, but this ROM is flawless, I'm telling you. All right, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video, if you end up using the S8 ROM on your S7 or S7 Edge and enjoy the futures of S8 Plus without actually buying one. There, I saved you a bunch of time and money. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.